but it's like it's it's been weird you know there's been I haven't felt like it's as far off as some of the results I've had and I don't feel like I need to have them because I think if I'm if I'm feeling like I'm I'm hitting shots the way I want to and my game's getting better and better then I know what it, it can produce if I'm patient with it. So I'm just trying to be patient with it. In golf, it's all about the fine line between snagging a trophy and facing defeat. Let's roll into the story of Jordan Spieth, a maestro on the greens whose recent stint at the 2024 Masters Tournament didn't exactly follow the playbook. From big wins to tough times, we're looking at how Spieth is getting ready to recover and take on his next challenge. Let's dive in. Jordan Spieth, a name synonymous with precision and grit in the golf world. Exploding onto the scene at just 21, Spieth not only snagged the green jacket but did it with such pizzazz that he won hearts worldwide. His early breakout was no fluke. It was the launch of a saga marked by sharp shots, flexibility, and the occasional setback. Over the years, Spieth's drawn a fan base from every corner of the globe hooked by his youthful energy and his savvy on the course. Yet even the stars can stumble, and this year's Masters added a tough chapter to Spieth's legacy. The 2024 Masters Tournament at Augusta National was a rough ride for Jordan Spieth, a former green jacket holder and one of the brightest stars in golf. Starting the tournament with hopes of etching his name once more in the annals of Augusta National glory, Spieth instead made a different kind of history, recording a score that he'd undoubtedly rather erase from the record books. The day began under challenging conditions, with Spieth resuming his first round at two over par through 14 holes. It was the par 5 15th hole where his struggles dramatically intensified. After a solid drive and layup, his third shot disastrously overshot the green. What followed was a series of missteps that spiraled into a calamitous outcome. His chip shot, intended to salvage the situation, carried too much momentum, hitting the slope in front of the green and rolling into the water. This critical error was compounded when, after taking a drop, Spieth's sixth shot again went long, essentially landing him back where he started. The outcome was a crushing quadruple bogey nine, plummeting Spieth to six over par and effectively dashing any hopes of claiming his second green jacket. This score of 79 became his worst at the Masters, surpassing his previous high of 76. This hole has been notoriously difficult for Spieth. Notably, he had previously quadrupled the same hole during the 2017 Masters, making this incident an unwanted echo from the past. Spieth's trouble on the 15th is a stark reminder of the unpredictability and cruelty of golf, particularly at a venue as revered and challenging as Augusta National. While not approaching Sergio Garcia's infamous record score of 13 on the same hole, Spieth's performance still attracted significant attention, with golf Twitter quickly becoming abuzz with reactions. He added another bogey on the 17th and had to execute a remarkable up and down on the 18th to just break 80. What did you find went wrong that week? Uh, I mean, two holes, just two holes. And um, other than that, I, I, I could have had a, you know, a bit of a chance. Um, I've shown that if I'm within 10 on Sunday, there's a chance. So I always believe that there. So um, it was just two holes where, you know, a little bit of, I didn't, I didn't quite have it tight enough in my game to, um, to maybe I made a little bit too aggressive of a decision around the greens. Um, a little combination of both. It was number one of the first round and then number 15 of the first round. It's, uh, there were two different days. This wasn't just a setback in numbers, but a major mental game changer, clouding his outlook for the rest of the tourney. Coming into Augusta with high hopes and a solid track record, this round hit like a gut punch. It's a tough reminder that even golf's greats can hit unexpected snags, testing their grit and messing with their heads out on the green. The fallout was instant. The sports media went wild, dissecting every move and second-guessing his strategies. The chatter wasn't just about a bad day on the course. It was about seeing a titan wobble under the spotlight at one of golf's grandest arenas. Spieth's response? He kept his head down, focusing more on what those hard knocks taught him than on the sting of the loss. 
prepping to hit back even harder. Digging into Spieth's setback at Augusta requires a look beyond just the scores. Technically, his swing seemed off. Maybe tweaks aimed at boosting his consistency backfired. Mentally, the heavy weight of expectations at such a renowned event can trip up even the most seasoned pros. Experts in golf psychology point out that bouncing back is about more than just practice. It's about rebuilding your inner game, your swagger. Spieth squad is all over it, fine-tuning each aspect of his game to sync up technical skills with mental toughness, priming him for a major comeback. As Jordan Spieth gears up for the CJ Cup Byron Nelson, his preparation strategy showcases a blend of mental fortitude and technical refinement, aiming to channel his focus effectively for the challenges ahead. Spieth's approach this season is nuanced, reflecting a maturity and a deep understanding of both his game and the mental aspect of competitive golf. At the heart of Spieth's preparation is his emphasis on the mental game. Having navigated the ups and downs of his career, Spieth is no stranger to the pressures that come with playing at home and the expectations that follow a seasoned pro. This time around, he's adopting a more relaxed attitude towards the tournament. Rather than putting additional pressure on himself to perform just because it's a hometown event, Spieth is focusing on enjoying the game and leveraging the comfort that comes from familiarity. Playing at home allows him the luxury of staying in his own bed and maintaining a normal week, which can be a significant advantage in terms of mental comfort and routine stability. Spieth acknowledges the unique challenges and pressures of playing in his hometown event, where friends and family are part of the gallery. Early in his career, the desire to win at home may have added extra pressure, but experience has taught him to embrace it positively. This mindset shift is crucial. It represents a significant evolution in his approach, focusing on having fun and staying true to his game without forcing the outcome. On the technical front, Spieth is keenly aware of the importance of matching his playstyle to the course at Craig Ranch. His track record there has been notably better compared to other venues, suggesting a compatibility that could play to his strengths. In preparation, he's been concentrating on hitting his targets consistently, a basic yet crucial aspect of his strategy that revolves around precision and control. As Spieth looks forward to the CJ Cup and beyond, his strategy includes managing his expectations and focusing on the process over results. The CJ Cup at Byron Nelson is more than just a tournament for Spieth. It's a defining moment in his season. The field is stacked, the course is tough, and the stakes couldn't be higher. It's his chance to clap back at the skeptics and cement his status among the golfing elite. With top contenders and eager newcomers in the mix, Spieth's got to bring his A-game. The home crowd behind him, the course is prepped, and he's ready to flip the script on this season. Jordan Spieth's ride through the golf world is a tale of grit and glory. As we gear up for the CJ Cup, his story stands as an example to the undying spirit of a true champion. Through highs and lows, his chase for excellence never wavers. Stick with us as we follow every drive, every putt, as Spieth writes the next chapter in his legendary career. Thanks for tuning into our deep dive into Jordan Spieth's quest for redemption. For more solid golf content and updates on Spieth's journey, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell. Catch you on the flip side and remember, always keep swinging for the greens.